So this video is on uh, representation theory and we are still working on the concepts of um, reducible and irreducible representations. In this video we are going to uh, define, to show another definition of the, the concept of completely reducible. So if, if G is a group, okay, we take a representation phi from G to the general linear group. And this representation is said to be completely reducible if the vector space can be decomposed in direct sums of subspaces V1, V2, Vn. And all these are G invariant subspaces. Okay? If you're not familiarized with this concept, please check the previous videos, the videos for G invariant subspaces. Okay? And the, the sub representation, so phi restricted to Vi, is irreducible. Of course, I will be 1, 2, 3, n. Um, do not forget that all these, they have, all these Vs, they have to be G invariant subspaces. Equivalently, phi is completely reducible, so same concept, right? Phi is completely reducible if phi is equivalent to the direct sum of phi1, phi2, phi n, where phi of i are irreducible representations. So we can completely reduce uh, this representation if we can, if we see that this representation is equivalent to a decomposition of irreducible representations. Now uh, we introduce another concept and this concept is going to be very important, it's going to play a very important role in, in, the, in the next concept. So definition, decomposable representation. Um, a, so if phi, of course a non-zero representation, uh, taking a group to, a, to the general linear group, is called decomposable. Please do not uh, do not um, mix this with reducible. This is totally different. Phi is decomposable if the vector space V can be decomposed in the direct sum of uh, two non-zero G invariant subspaces. Okay, so the the representation is called decomposable if the vector space can be decomposed into uh, non-zero G invariant sub subspaces. Okay. Otherwise, if V cannot be decomposed in the direct sum of um, G invariant subspaces, then we say that V is indecomposable. Okay. So we are going to the next concept we will have reducible uh, representations and non-reducible and we have decomposable decomposable and indecomposable representations so now we are going to have a very sophisticated game of concepts here because this the, the concept we saw before, complete reducibility, is going to be analog to the diagonalization of the, uh, the uh, in uh, representation theory. Okay, so now we are going to our goal is to show that any representation of a finite group G uh, is completely completely uh, reducible 
okay we just checked the, the we saw that it is completely reducible is if the vector space can be decomposed in uh, subspaces uh, G uh, invariant subspaces okay so now we're going to show that a representation and that will be the next videos a representation phi is either irreducible either it is irreducible or decomposable so it will be one of those either irreducible or decomposable okay and then we will proceed so um, this these two concepts reducibility and decomposable are very important better to re-watch the this these videos before you move on